Hey guys, so this makeup tutorial has been much requested from a lot of you. It is the makeup that I've been wearing in my most recent videos and a lot of you asked if I would do a tutorial on it. So this is kind of like my everyday fall makeup tutorial, so I hope you guys enjoy. The first step is foundation and lately I've been using the Benefit Cosmetics Hello Flawless Oil Free Foundation in the color I'm So Money Honey and I'm going to be applying this with a flat top duo fiber kabuki brush. Now I honestly have no idea where I got this so if anyone knows where you can find one of these please leave it in the comments below because it doesn't have a name on it or anything like that so I have no idea where it's from but I'm just going to apply the foundation on the back of my hands and stipple it onto the brush and then I'm going to stipple it onto my face and this gives just a beautiful flawless airbrush finish I honestly have never found a foundation brush that I love quite as much as this one and that's why I really wish I knew where I got it so I could tell you guys but unfortunately I have no idea then I'm going to take my Garnier skin renew anti-dark circle roller and apply this under my eyes and then blend it out with my finger Now it's time to conceal those red spots, so I'm taking my Maybelline Cover Stick Corrector Concealer in green, obviously, and I'm just going to apply this anywhere that I see any red peeking through my foundation. The lighting may fool you, it may look like there isn't any red peeking through, but in real life there totally was, so I'm not just putting this green randomly on my face, and then I'm just going to go over it with my flat top kabuki brush that I applied my foundation with. The next step is to take my YSL concealer and I am absolutely loving this. I am in number three and I recommend this to all of you guys and I just apply this under my eyes and then around my nose and on any of my problem areas and then I just blend it in with my finger and you guys can see that the color matches me incredibly. I mean you can't even really see where I'm putting it. The only thing you can see is that any blemishes basically disappear. Now I'm going to take my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and using my finger just dab a little bit of this underneath my eyes. It has reflective particles in it that basically make any dark circles disappear. Then I'm going to take my Mineralize Max Skin Finish Natural and with a big fluffy brush I'm just going to apply this all over my face to set the foundation. And now I'm going to take my Lorac Pro To Go palette that I got at Beautycon and I am loving it. So I'm going to use both the coral and the pink on my cheeks. It makes a really gorgeous color when you mix it together. And then I'll be using the bronze to contour my cheekbones. So just using a basic blush brush, I'm going to apply the coral and the pink on the apples of my cheeks and then extend it towards my ears. And then I'm just going to take a small contour brush and apply it in the hollows of my cheekbones. And this is just going to give me a defined look to my face. And now it is time for eye primer. I am using the Benefit Stay Don't Stray and this is really great if you have oily eyelids. So I'm just going to apply two little polka dots onto my lids and then blend it out using my finger. eyeshadow colors are from the Lorac Pro To Go palette. So the first one I will be using is Chai, which is the middle top color. And then I will be using Shell, which is the bottom left color. And then a tiny, tiny bit of Pearl, which is the top left color. So using a flat shader brush, this is a MAC 239, I am going to just apply a little bit of the Chai onto my lids and I'm just using a patting motion and then just kind of blending that out. And then I'm going to take a MAC 224 fluffy brush and put some shell on that. And I'm going to apply that under my brow and take it all the way down to meet the Chai color and this is just going to help easily fade everything together. And then I'm going to take a blending crease brush, this is a MAC 217 and take a little bit more of the chai color and I'm just going to blend this into my crease. You can see I'm starting out slow and just kind of building up the product on it. I'm not putting a ton on right at the beginning because I'm pulling some that we put on the lid as well to blend it out into the crease. So it's kind of a gradual fade. And then I just am taking a flat liner brush and putting a little bit of the chai on my lower lash line to tie everything together. Then using my finger, I'm just going to take a little bit of the pearl color and apply it in the inner quarters of my eyes just to open them up a little. 
And now I fill in my brows. I'm using Charcoal Brown by MAC, and as you can see, it is totally crazy used up, and I need to get a new one. But I just take a flat brush, and I go ahead and fill in my brows and define any sparse areas and just make them a little bit thicker because my brows are kind of thin right now. And then to set them, I'm going to use the Maybelline Clear Mascara Great Lash. So this is actually just clear mascara, but I use it as a clear brow gel. And it gets really gross and yucky inside, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles. That's just how it works. So I'm just going to apply a very little bit of this on my brows to make them stay all day. And then I'm going to take my Milani Liquid Eye, Liquid Eye Like Liner Pencil. I basically just read off what you guys could read, but it is in very black or jet black or blackest black. And I'm just going to line my tight line and my water line. So just be careful when you're lining your water line, don't pull your eyelid or your lower lash line down too much because it can cause premature wrinkles. And then I'm going to take the Benefit Magic Ink Jet Black liquid liner and apply this to my upper lash lines. So I just want to do kind of a thin line to define my lashes. I'm not looking to do a crazy thick winged out liner, anything like that. It's just a very simple line that we're doing for this look. And now the eyelash curler. I'm using my beloved Chanel eyelash curler and two different mascaras. The first one I'm applying is L'Oreal's Voluminous Mascara. And the second one is by Chroma Beauty, which is the Kardashians makeup line. And it is the Quickie. So I think they actually renamed their makeup line because there was some sort of lawsuit or something. I don't know. But whether it's called Chroma Beauty now or just Kardashian Beauty or whatever it is, it's their Quickie um, mascara. So I'm first putting on the Voluminous Mascara and then I'm going to do a coat of the Quickie Mascara. Liner. I am using my Clinique Lip Liner in Sky Violet, which is pretty much just an everyday color for me. You can see it's not crazy in pigmentation, but I just feel like it really helps give my lips a little more oomph. And then I am just going to fill in my lips after I line them to help my lipstick stay all day. And then I'm going to take Max Perf Profusion, wow, I can't speak, Profusion lipstick, and I'm going to apply this using a brush. The brush is just gonna kind of sheer it out a little bit, and I'm just going to apply this everywhere. And sometimes I'll do a little bit of a deeper lip. I don't know exactly which makeup tutorial I'm recreating, but my past videos, I've been wearing looks very similar to this, and the only thing that might change is the lipstick. And if it was a darker color, then it was just the same color. I didn't use a brush. I just put it on straight from the tube, and that gives you a deeper color. And then for lip gloss, I'm using Underage by MAC, and I take this everywhere with me in my purse and everything like that, so it is completely rubbed off the MAC logo, but I'm just going to apply a thin line of that, and then I am finished. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave any video requests for other makeup tutorials, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.